Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a artwork submission platform and uh, allow yourself to create tags for artwork shows in a quick manner. So let's take a look. We're going to be using Google Drive and Google Drive's forms. Now, I want you to first know that if you don't have Google Drive, you need to get one. It's free, so go sign up. My school district actually um, has Google uh, Docs for Education, so we have this available automatically. I'm going to go ahead and on the left side of Google Drive, I'm going to click the Create New Form. And when you create a new form, it uh, can ask you about how you want it to look, and you can choose all sorts of different templates, make them cutesy, whatever. I'm going to just choose the default, and I'm going to call this uh, New Tags. All right, and then you enter in question like um, student first name, right? And you can make it not be a question type of multiple choice, but you can make it be text. And then they have to put in their their name. You can tell it to be a required question and you can click done. Now, this is the way you add items. You just click add item and you can go on to the next question. Now, I've already created a form that has a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close this form and jump back into my drive. I'm going to delete that new tags one that I just created and show you my template. So let's uh, jump into the template here. And so this has got several things set up. Now, uh, right now, this is set up for a situation where there is um, just a uh, first name and a last name. I can adjust that question. For example, if you had uh, students that had multiple students working on a particular project, you could edit that and you click on the edit command and you can then uh, change the title um, this is student first name. Well, you can do help text. You can say this is um, or if multiple, sorry, I'm having trouble typing there. Uh, students type a portion of the name or multiple names. All right. So and we'll say done. And if multiple add rest of names. Okay, so there we go. So now um, you can put all the names inside right there. Now you have the school name. You can make that a drop down list if you know every school that's involved. Or if it's just a particular school, you could just uh, type it in yourself. Uh, you can put in the grade, and this is uh, when you click on that, that is choosing from a list. So 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, we'll go ahead and click that done. And then you have the categories of the artwork. So this will show all the categories that we have. And hit done. And then we have some other things. We have the title. You put, I tell you, hey, put it in quotations. Uh, the media. This is for informational purposes. Type a small line of info. I used to have paragraphs, and that doesn't fit on a tag. And then there's instructor name and instructor email. And the, the email has something very special in it. If you click on it and you go to the advanced settings, I have included th something called data validation. So if you check the box for data validation, you can tell it to be text, email address, and so then I typed in, this is not a valid email, this is the error text. So now if somebody goes in and types something that's not an email, doesn't have an at sign, for example, uh, you can uh, warn them that, hey, that's not a real email. Uh, you can also put down, is this work for sale? Type of price, if not, not for sale. And then there's this all important, I have printed this page. Uh, checkbox. All right. The thing that you do is the um, other teachers or other artists uh, sign up their artwork here, submit their artwork here. They print out this page before clicking the submit button, which will be in the bottom. And when they uh, print it out, they put that onto the artwork. So they attach that to the artwork. And then you, as the facilitator of this, have a database of all the submissions. You then download that as a spreadsheet 
and you can mail merge that into a Word document and then print out tags that all look uniformed and have the data exactly how those submissions typed it. So uh, you want to make sure that they print the page. So anyway, we're ready. We're good on this. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to view the live form and that will open up here in another window and we will we can submit our first response. So the first name, I'm going to say uh, John Smith school name awesome academy grade uh, 10 artwork category multimedia fiber please place in quotations the title let's see here let's call it uh, under the bus all right under the bus uh, the media this is iron and glue <laughs> the instructor name mr. awesome the instructor email awesome oh look I got a warning this is not a valid email so we can go ahead and type out the rest of it awesome at awesome sauce.com and is this work for sale well we'll say that it is eight dollars and ninety five cents now if you just hit enter it would have submitted had we not had this required question at the bottom and that's important because we want to make sure that people print the page so they print it out so we'll go ahead and print it file print and I'm going to print mine um, out to a PDF so I'm going to change this to save as PDF and we'll just tell it to print page one and we'll go ahead and save that to uh, the art tags folder all right and then we'll go ahead and check that and now I can submit all right so now that it's submitted it'll tell me hey I it's been recorded good job now I can jump back to my tags and in the tags here uh, I can view responses so the person that is facilitating this will now know that they have some responses so we'll click view responses and this will open up a spreadsheet where all the data is listed so student first name all this stuff instructor name all that shows up all right so now we can take this file and download it so obviously we'd wait for all the other um, responses to come up but we'll go ahead and download this as it is so you go file download as and a Excel spreadsheet all right and we'll go ahead and show that in folder and here it is in the folder and we'll go ahead and double click it and open it up in Excel and so this is where you could look for any issues uh, and make any changes you could do it here you could also do it on the other document it's okay we're gonna go ahead and also make sure this is enabled editing so it's ready to go and we'll go ahead and talk about how to get this into our tag template in Word in the next video